data is everywhere and part of our life in more ways than most of us realize the amount of digital data that exists and that we create is growing exponentially therefore there is a need for professionals who understand the basics of data science big data and data analytics and do the comparison such that we can differentiate between the various data processing disciplines welcome to your channel ullas kumar gokule for learning so in today's video we are going to learn the introduction to data science part 1 let us start now the agenda for today is data is big here we will be discussing big data then what is data science then we will discuss the data science and big data how they are related and the need of data science then we will take some examples of the need of data science and then we will discuss the data science life cycle and then the data science profile or components of data science and lastly we will discuss the data science application let us start with first thing that is data is big now data is big how do we know that because every day we are generating 2.5 quintillion bytes of data that is 10 raised to 8 bytes of data now this data how it is generated everything around you collects or generates it say the social media sites business transactions then location based data sensors then digital photos videos and the consumer behavior online and store transactions all these things they will generate vast volume of data now this data is publicly available because the social media sites they are publicly available and so the data on those sites is publicly available then database technology is advancing so because of that the availability of the data becomes easy then cloud based and mobile applications are widespread so everywhere the data will be generated so here we just try to define what is big data so big data is a blanket term for any collection of data sets so large or complex that it becomes difficult to process them using traditional data management techniques such as the relational database management system that's why the data science come into picture so let us understand what is data science so data science involves using methods to analyze massive amount of data and extract the knowledge it contains so we have the massive or vast volume of data we call it as the big data and it is very complex so we have to extract knowledge from this data so the data science will help us to do that. then data science is about data gathering analysis and decision so the data will be collected analyzed and according to the analysis will make the decision then data science is about finding patterns in data through analysis and make future prediction so here this is very important to make future prediction so that that thing can be used then so with all this we can define data science is the field of study that deals with modern scientific techniques statistical methods and algorithm to derive insights from the vast volume of data so here mostly will be using the machine learning algorithm for the model building and the statistical methods will be used for the analysis of the data so data science is a multidisciplinary where we make use of many disciplines for deriving insights from the vast volume of data then by using data science companies what they do they are able to make better decisions that is the say classification well, whether to choose a or b then predictive analysis what will happen next so that is very important because of that the companies can do their business properly and pattern discoveries finding pattern or maybe hidden information in the data so these are the possible things which the companies are able to make with the help of data science. let us discuss data science and big data data science is an evolutionary extension of statistics 
capable of dealing with massive amount of data produced to it. Then it adds methods from computer science to the repository of statistics. So the methods from computer science are added to statistics. These methods, they are nothing but the machine learning algorithm. Then the main things that set a data scientist apart from statisticians are the ability to work with big data and experience in machine learning, computing and algorithm building. So these things differentiate the data scientist from a statistician. Data science and big data are used almost everywhere in both commercial and non-commercial settings. Here, the commercial companies in almost every industry use data science and big data to gain insights from their customers, then from their processes, staff, completion, and products. So all these insights, they are used for the business. Then many companies use data science to offer customers a better user experience. They make use of the recommender systems so that the user can make use of the recommender system for buying. This will help the companies to up their sales or here even the personalized offerings can be done because of this data science. Because they, they will come to know about the customer wins from the data. Then need of data science. Data science is making sense of data. So here we are uh, having unseen patterns within the data. So those can be found from the, with the help of data science. Then we can analyze and draw insights from the data. So that is very important because whatever insights we draw from the data, they will be used for the decision making. Uh, with the help of this we can solve business problems and make decisions. So that is why data science is needed. Then let us go to the examples of need of data science. Okay. First example here is for route planning. So here whatever discover the best routes to ship. So the shipping will be a easy with the help of the best route. Then to foresee delays from flights, ship, train, etc. to predictive analysis. So with the help of predictive analysis, we can uh, know what will be the delay in flights or ships or train. So we can plan the accordingly the, our trips. Then to create promotional offers. So with the help of data science, we can create different promotional offers and give it to the audience then find the best suited time to deliver goods then to forecast the next year's revenue for the company so that is very important if we can forecast the revenue for the company for the next year accordingly the planning can be done then to analyze health benefits of training so this analysis can be done with the help of the smart watches use of the data science then to predict who will win the election so this is an application of data science in politics then let us go to the data science lab. so the life cycle has five phases data discovery data preparation then exploratory data analysis data modeling and lastly the interpret the results again we'll go back to the data so this is the these are different uh, steps or uh, phases in the data science life so let us see steps in details the first is the data discovery so data discovery it involves uh, asking the right question so when we start any of the project so right questions will give us the correct data. If you are not able to ask the right questions or the relevant questions, then your data will not be 
correct the next is identifying the business problem so with the help of the questions asked we can identify the business problem and then we try to find the solution to that and then we gather the correct data from the relevant sources for analysis so with the help of these questions we are able to gather the correct data then the next is the data preparation so this phase consists of three sub phases first is data cleansing so this phase will remove the, the false values or the inconsistencies which are occurring in the data sometimes there will be uh, missing values or incorrect values so all this is done with the help of data cleans then next step is the data integration so this will enrich the data sources by combining information from multiple data sources so that the we are sure about the correctness of the data then last is the data transformation so here the data will be transformed or normalized and made available for the suitable format for the analysis and model making the next is exploratory data analysis analyzing and visualize the data using different charts graphs to find significant patterns so here the significant patterns are formed with the help of the exploratory data analysis and once we find the patterns we understand the data so the next is the data modeling so here we'll have to select technique from the fields of statistics machine learning op operation research and so on for the uh, modeling so uh, generally we make use of the machine learning algorithm such as the classification regression and clustering for building the model then building a model the iterative process and it will uh, take number of iterations so it will involve the selecting of variables for the model executing the model and uh, even the will like do the diagnostic of the model so in case of machine learning we call it as the training the model so this will be done with the help of data model and then last part is the interpret the result so once the model is ready we validate the model results draw the final conclusion and check if the performance of the model is in line with the requirement so whatever business problem we are trying to solve whether it is solved or not we we'll try to see that so this is the interpretation part. so these are the main different phases in the life cycle of data science. then uh, let us go to the data science components or code so here uh, we have basically the data analysis and data science part so data analysis requires maths statistics so in maths particularly we need the linear algebra and calculus and we should have the knowledge of the statistics then for data science part we need machine learning for building the model and data visualization and computer science or data engineering that will be used for the database or data handling then the domain expert is important to ask related questions in the business field so the very important and lastly we need the presentation and communication for presenting the results of the model then let us go to the last part that is the data science application now first is internet search so when you search on google it uses data science or the artificial intelligence algorithm to figure out what to read so this is how the data science is used on the internet then 
second is voice assistant so the, analyzing the incoming voice and then doing the task based on that is nothing but the voice assistant so nowadays they are being used in the smart tv so as soon as you give the command to open say youtube the tv will open the youtube so in this way you can make use of the voice assistant for different tasks then next is healthcare now analyzing health data from smart watches for the health condition then uh, early detection of heart attack from heart condition can be done with the of data science the next is logistic so moving from one point to another is very important and data science will make use of this for route then uh, next is e-commerce so e-commerce here marketing and uh, targeting audience with the help of recommender systems or personalized choices that can be done with the help of data science and then next we have the robotics so self driving cars and robots used in manufacturing and kitchen they are the examples of use of the data science then politics so here for predicting the result of the election we use the data science from the uh, data collected from the different survey so that is very important for in politics then last is the stock market so the trend analysis and the price trend can be done with the help of so these are some of the applications of data now with this we come to the end of this video if you have any questions you can contact me on facebook twitter uh, gmail or instagram then if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to the channel ullas kumar google for learning new things and uh, these subjects then press the bell icon if you want to get notifications about the next video then thanks for watching have a nice day